so the um, next job is to check out uh, head bearings um, and take out and reinstall if we need to. I mean, <laughs> how, well, how well the camera will pick this up. The, this should just glide around. It's actually taking quite an effort to move it. So I think we're definitely going to have some square bearings in there. Um, and, well, let's hope we don't find too many other problems in there. But I'm going to replace these with a, a roller race bearing. So, um, well, let's get in and have a look see what we've got. See if we can get this top yoke off. Yeah, it's coming away fairly easy. Let's use a magic mallet. If we can get in there with one. Yep, that's off. Good. Alright, so we now need to take off this um, I suppose castellated knot. That's obviously holding things down. Um, yeah, it looks in fairly good condition, but obviously we can tell better when we get it off, so let's look, take this off then. Hopefully the adjustable C-spanner we've got will fit. We'll get that bad boy off. Yep, yeah, that's coming away fairly easy. Wow, there's some dust coming out of there. So the, the bearing surface is going to be at least full of dust, if not rust. I'll take that away, take that away. Is that going to come out? Yep, yeah. I mean, that literally just fell away. Now, straight away, again, if we can't see this, I'll, 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 I'll reshoot this part of the video as well. Let's see about this top cap. Yeah, I mean, Actually, the bearings look fairly new in there. Oh no, no, I'm close. Especially now they're far from fairly new. They're shiny, but we've um, got flats on them as well. So let's just take those out. Good. I'll give this a good clip, but you can see, well, I think you can see, the dust and crap that's in there. Again, I'm going to take all this, so we're going to take these, um, take these out, we're going to fit um, uh, roller races in there, but uh, I'll show that on a, on a second, uh, second part of the video. The next part of the job is to uh, remove this bearing cup. Um, you see, it's, it's pretty well rusted, it's, it's pretty well knackered. But we're replacing this with uh, uh, roller race, top and bottom anyway. So we just need to remove this. There's no real um, sophistication to this. It's just a case of, um, well, whacking it out, to be quite honest. So, drift on there. What I will do is, if you can imagine, instead of just hitting it all the time in one place, we're going to kind of work around maybe sort of triangle configuration, just so we're not... Um, um, not making that cup uh, come out in one angle, we want it coming out as flat as it possibly will, so it pre help prevent jamming. I'll say it's coming out fairly easy. Um, it's just awkward because we're working upside down. should see us. There we go, that pops out. Good, there's no actual corrosion in where that cup would sit. I just need to set the to take the bottom cup out now so it's exactly the same process. Easy as that, we're done. Um, so our next stage we're going to fit the um, uh, uh, fit the inserts that the roller race will fit on, but we'll have a look at the next section. So these, um, this is the one of the inserts, one at the top, one at the bottom. Um, we sort of took the old bearing cup out. 
this is the seat for uh, for the roller or the race bearing that we're going to put in later. Um, so we need to um, obviously get that in there. Again, there's no real sophistication with these, they've just got to be tapped in. But the thing to do is go around in a rotational manner. It's a little bit at a time because we don't want the intergoing to go in uneven. So it's a triangle configuration. Perhaps that bounce back mallet's not going to work, so we'll go for an old school hammer. But again, let's not go crazy. We don't want to damage any surfaces on this. And we certainly don't want it going in. 12, 3, 6, 9, 12, 3, 6, 9, 12, 3, 6, 9, 12, 3, 6, 9, 12, 3, 6, 9. So that's now uh, nicely in place. Let me tap it down a, a little bit more. Um, but principally, um, that's it. There's not more to do. It's, it's a couple of mil off. I can, I can actually go in with the um, sort of bounce back mallet now. That's not going to cause any surface damage. It's the same to do on the underneath. Um, again, I'm not. It's the same principle. So I'm, I'm not going to make a video of it being fitted underneath. But it's as as simple as that. Okay. Then we'll look at putting the um, the bearings in, and then fitting everything back together. So. Um, Catch you on that one and bye for now. Okay, so next stage is uh, then to uh, just install the, the, the bearings, the roller races. Um, put the seat in on the bottom part of the headstock. Again, the same principle as what you saw earlier when I was installing that. What I will say is, um, just as a, a case in point, you would normally pack these bearings uh, full of grease before installing them. That's top and bottom. I'm not going to because we're just putting this as a dry installation because then it's coming off and the um, the yokes, or for those like to call them uh, triple trees, but the yokes, the clamps, um, are then going to be either painted um, or powder coated. So um, again, just to reiterate, you would normally pack these with grease. So that would go in there and then it seats in nicely. So we've pressed the, the lower uh, taper roller bearing onto the stem. Um, and it's again, I suppose the next stage is fairly obvious, really. But just pass up the um, the stem uh, up through the head, and then it will pass through the um, the inner side of the taper roller bearing. There is a there is a dust seal that then slips on there. New dust seal, obviously covers the bearing. And then we'll just pop this castellated nut. Um, back on there. Again this is a dry build don't forget so this isn't kind of the final build. And then we'll just maybe put half a turn on that castellated nut just, just to show the principle. Also on this as well there is there are these clips. There is, there's one of two there and they sit inside the groove in the in the castellated nut. And when the when the cover then is put on, they act against the cover, and it will stop that costellated nut from moving around. Because we don't necessarily tighten those up really tight; we just tighten up enough to hold the bearing, but allow the the, the steering to move. So we'll just um, pop the uh, the top nut. You can imagine in that space there; that's where it would go through the top yoke. Um, so what we've done now, we've now got a 1975 uh, vintage Enduro bike with modern taper roller bearings in the steering. So thanks for watching the video, bye for now and uh, why not follow the links and have a look at some of the videos we're doing of the recommission of the DT400.